Hello, my name is Sarah Copeland, and today I'll be giving an introduction to NGS STR data analysis using GeneMarker HTS software. GeneMarker HTS software provides rapid analysis of STRs, YSTRs, and mitochondrial DNA data from massively parallel sequencing systems like the Illumina and Ion Torrent platforms for forensic applications such as database or casework samples. With the capacity to analyze data using preloaded Promega PowerSeq panels or custom panels, all in an easy to use Windows based user interface with password protected user management and audit trail. The mitochondrial DNA application allows for analyzing whole mitogenomes or specified regions such as hypervariable regions 1 and 2 or the control region with multiple alignment options, forensic nomenclature, and the ability to upload profiles to MPOP. The STR application allows for analyzing autosomal and YSTRs using forensic nomenclature. Allele calls are concordant with CE results, but also include sequence variants to visualize isoalleles. In this webinar, I will be focusing on STR analysis in GeneMarker HTS, but I encourage you to watch our introductory HTS webinar that is devoted to mitochondrial DNA analysis as well. To start a new analysis, click New. Enter a location to save your reports. If nothing is entered, the program will create a new project folder within the data folder where all of the reports and files will be saved. The reference and motif fields, as well as the alignment options to the right, are for mitochondrial data analysis, so we can disregard those for now. If you are using one of Promega's PowerSeq kits, you can choose to use the corresponding panel. Otherwise, we can help you develop a custom panel for the chemistry you are using. Today, we'll be looking at STRs, YSTRs, and MITO data that was generated using the Promega PowerSeq 56 GMY kit. I'll just press Add to bring in the data and navigate to the necessary files. Down at the bottom are filter settings for both STR and MITO analysis. The STR Filter Rules tab allows you to set marker or allele-specific analytical and interpretational thresholds. The STR Stutter Rules tab allows for the input of marker or allele-specific stutter settings, including plus one, minus one, and complex stutter. These settings can then be saved for routine use. Once all of the settings have been made, click OK. This window is saying that a folder will be created within the data folder to hold all of the reports and files. As samples finish, they'll become available in the viewer window. You can open up and view a sample while the others are being aligned. This is the STR results screen. On the left is the histogram viewer, showing separate histograms for each of the STR and YSTR markers. The different colored bars indicate the presence of isoalleles, which are loci that appear homozygous in length-based measurements, like capillary electrophoresis, but are actually heterozygous when sequenced. On the right is the STR results table that includes columns for the marker and allele names, an option to add individual sequences to the report, filter information, calls, fragment sequences in a bracket format, forward and reverse read counts, allele counts, marker counts, the full sequence, and the sequences for the left flank, repeat region, and right flank. Calls that are flagged for review are highlighted in orange. By double-clicking on the user call field, you can enter in the desired call. Edited calls will then be highlighted in green. The table and the histograms can be exported separately for your records. There are also NGS and CE options for the report as well. Mitochondrial DNA results are available by clicking on the Mitochondrial Alignment tab. For an explanation of the Mitochondrial Alignment Viewer, please see our GeneMarker HTS introductory webinar. Thank you for your interest in GeneMarker HTS software. 
For more information or for a free 35-day trial of GeneMarker HTS and other Soft Genetics products, please visit www.softgenetics.com or email info at softgenetics.com. For technical support questions, please write to tech underscore support at softgenetics.com. Thank you for watching.